until you have a ring. The ring will look like, you know, just like this. Now, the first thing I do, you can see, or next thing I do, you can see I have a raised ridge here. This shows you where the center is for these, the fins that go, uh, the, X, X, the other fins, okay? What I do first is I go ahead and I slide, you have to, um, on the fin, you need to uh, come in here and just mark it down a little bit. It's one inch in and take a real sharp exacto knife and start uh, carving that out. You just want to trim that until that circle slides over it and you want it to do it on both sides. Once that slid in, once that slides over them easily, you know, move, remove the same amount on each side, you want to glue this in place, slide it over using your tester's glue and glue it in place and then let that set up. Now to install the secondary fins, these, these other fins are the exact same size uh, as the original ones. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and cut our notch in the back here and then come from the back and slide it in place. And as you slide it in, now it's too thick to fit on top of here. We're going to come in here and we're going to mark this as you slide it in place. And you have to keep trimming. And then what you'll do is whatever you mark, you just trim that away. Just, just trim a little bit at a time. So eventually that piece will come in and sit right on top of this and also fit inside that ring. And now with these glued together, they'll be a little bit thicker and a little bit uh, sturdier. All right. You can see uh, the first tip I got this glued in. It glued in nice and uh, easily. Uh, I will have to take some filler and fill in my uh, my line here. And, and you know, we'll come in here and take a, a sand, some sandpaper and clean this, clean these edges up. We may fill them. Whatever will make it look better. All right. The I have this fin is all set up. Now, you do have to open up the back here. You have to, once you get it together, or, or right before, just make, cut, it, cut it out a little bit, and you take a Dremel tool and just clean that out. And you can see I have a circle. Now, this slides right on to the torpedo, and um, I, ha I have, you can see the hole here. Now, something I was, I thought it was a piece of wood, but it wasn't. They had just poured... Uh, the epoxy or polyester resin down in there. This is hollow. You have to be careful in sanding that off. If you can cut it off with a Dremel tool, that'd be better. Just hold it tight as you, uh, if you're going to use a, a belt sander or, or cut it or, or just cut it off with your Dremel tool. All right. Once you cut that off, you're going to have to go in there and put some CA to, um, to, to make sure this all stays together. Um, the next thing we're going to put together is our propellers. I do, there, there's two, two, Supplied in the kit. All right. What I've done is now the hole I have on the back side of here is five eighths inch, or the the circle's five eighths inch. So I cut a five eighths inch circle out and, and drilled an eighth inch hole in the center, and then I put a piece of eighth inch um, ply on the back to hold this all together. Now this will slide right on the back and and be uh, glued in place. Now to do the propellers. Um, I've misplaced one, but anyway, I take two small eighth inch washers and slide it down on here. The propeller has an eighth inch hole in it. Just slide this one in place, take and put two more washers on. I only have one and then put this other propeller in place and they are alternating because I think that more or less they were counter rotating. Now this will just glue directly to the back of the um, torpedo. All right, and once that's glued in place, well, I mean, you, no, well, you don't want to glue that first. You want, you do want to glue um, this piece here, and then glue the propellers in last. That'd be the easiest thing to do. I don't want to mess you up here. But uh, this slides on, on, and then your propellers are glued in there, and there, there you have it. You have your, you have. Well, I hope I showed it to you. Anyway, you slide this on. And you can glue it, glue it in place. I'd go ahead and paint it first and make it like a, a darker gray, and then glue uh, glue the propellers in place, and um, that'll add to the looks of your uh, torpedo 
compared to the one comp compared to the way it comes in the kit. Anyway, I hope you enjoy this. Uh, it'll make a nice addition to the airplane. Uh, feel free to get a hold of me at tiesplanes.com, and I do have the kits. I will have the kits available for these.